one above all micro led i saw it in person at ces in las vegas and it is the most impressive display technology i have ever seen in person it is something you need to see in person in order to really grasp how amazing it is will we see it what is it really what are its limitations <laughs> i have no idea Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to be able to show you as much of this footage as I can, so I will be in it less and I will talk less than usual. Micro LED is truly one above all. It is something to behold, again, in person, much different than what you see here. Even the ISO on the cameras needs to be turned down. These are so bright and so stunning incredible depth contrast ratio peak brightness black levels off angle viewing is spectacular you can tell they're samsung's by the elegant center stand now i saw this at a samsung exclusive event at ces in las vegas massive event though still exclusive and one thing I will say is a negative for them and everyone else was having the micro LEDs lined up like this right in front. Once you saw these, you had no interest in seeing anything else. Even the star of the show, which was the QD OLED S95C. The sizes here were over a hundred inches and as they moved down to 85, anything smaller than that, is truly just a concept we were told that specifically as micro led is primarily a large technology modular technology at an amazing interview with rob brennan of sony which you'll see in the next few days sony has their own crystal led micro led technology and he was explaining to me the pixel pitch, the motherboard, the manufacturing, the heat. As we see FOMO, one of my partners in crime, walking in front of these panels. You'll see that interview with Rob Brennan in a few days, maybe at the end of the week. It's over an hour long. But talking about the realities of micro LED being primarily module and for commercial use. They need to be a certain size, which is why Samsung reminded me that these smaller sizes that we want so badly, and I mean 75, 85, are very hard to deliver. The mother glass has to be made specifically for each panel, making them ridiculously expensive. For me, it's a concept. It is vaporware, like Half-Life 3 if you're a gamer, but I love to see it. I am an LED fan at heart. And again, through videos through the years, I've seen it, and it still can't be captured accurately by any camera. It is jaw-dropping. And I know these are just demos, as we always say, but nothing at E3, E3, <laughs> CES, looked anything like this. Absolutely amazing. You almost had to clean your palette when you went over to the other displays, including the AK and the QD OLED, which are amazing. As we show you LG's take on the micro LED, also stunning. I will say LG's looked more accurate. Don't know if it's a quantum dot. I believe that's Samsung only, so the color gamut might not be as wide. But the micro LED from LG looked more accurate and more true to life. Now, they were designed initially, again, for commercial use, which is why the modular components, if you've ever seen them taken apart and put together, are absolutely amazing. 
but the pixel pitch from what Rob tells me is so uh, elegant and so tight that it needs to be a certain size. Sony's crystal LED, again, you'll see that in the interview, is over, it would be a few hundred inches at, if it was to be 4K, which it's actually 1080p. Don't miss that interview from Rob Brennan at the end of the week. But micro LED is something many of you are still waiting for. And I mentioned in that interview that when mini LED was introduced by TCL a number of years ago, many of you said, I'm waiting for micro LED. As we show you TCL's take on micro LED here, which is also beautiful. Now what's interesting with TCL's as you get close to it, there's a fabric feel to it. You can see it there that it's modular. Now I promise you can only see that fabric texture and modular look from maybe a foot away. Anything farther back, it blends in perfectly. Look at the way there is no blooming. To me, it is the one above all. It is the technology that gives you everything we want from our LEDs. With a higher contrast ratio, higher pixel um, refresh, or I should say pixel response black levels of OLED. Now the rumors are with micro LED they're not as bright as you think. Some don't meet don't hit a thousand nits as it's vaporware but I still love to be able to bring this to you and show you and want you to experience everything I experienced at CES. I'm so grateful you guys are watching. Please consider liking and subscribing we are real tech for real people. I want you to feel that you're there with me. CES for me was a life-changing experience. Look how incredible that looks. But I can only convey to you if you think these look good, uh, specifically Samsung's version. They look much better than they do here, which is crazy because they look amazing here. Now the size you're looking at here is about 85. Anything below this again is a prototype. They said that specifically. And as you looked behind them, I couldn't capture anything behind. It just reminded me of that black box where, hey, don't worry about what's underneath. For all I know, there could be a PC underneath or a whole nother TV. But look at those colors. Samsung's wider color gamut, quantum dot technology. But if you can see the specular highlights in the star field, which we know LEDs do struggle with, they do crush blacks or they bloom. Nothing like that here as we pan back to this diamond area where you see true specular highlights. Now, though that little uh, ice part looked like it was blooming again, that was my camera adjusting the ice, so um, the camera just couldn't do it fast enough. The sparks, amazing. And you can see the camera struggling how colorful that is let me know in the comments what you think of micro led what are your thoughts what have you heard from other sources what are its limitations from what i hear again it's heat mother glass manufacturing price pixel pitch pixel density they would be 4k again you can see all that in the upcoming interview with rob Brennan from Sony. As I've seen their crystal LED and it looks incredible. Absolutely stunning. It was by far the best thing that I saw at CES. And look at that Starfield. Better than even TCL's mini or micro LED and LG's. But again, if there was one negative, that one Samsung showed you this, and they had. I don't know, nine or 10 of these displayed just like this. There was really nothing else that you wanted to see. Look at that. My gosh. Absolutely beautiful. I'd love to see it in real content. Again, the pixel response is faster than typical um, LED technology. Love to see it gaming. Love to see it in movies. I mean, look how off angle I am. 
love to see something that we can say is real on here. And the minute I can show you that, I will show it to you. These small ones are unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please consider liking and subscribing. Love you guys. I will see you in the comments. Thank you for all you do, all your love, all your friendship, and all your support. Have a great day. Take care.